Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. You must have a thick skin in the game. You, you gotta have it because, you know, let's just be real. The biggest problem many men now have out here in engaging in women is a fear of rejection. But rejection is inevitable. Like I uh, uh, responded in a comment to someone talking about you know, this young man was saying, well, what happened? What about when a beautiful woman rejects you? Okay. Rejection, first of all, rejection is a rejection, but I told him even select men get rejected. Or if you don't like the term select men, alphas. Um, the 20 percenters. Like people are like using online, like Tinder or something, but even some of those guys in the 20 percent, every woman, all they know is the women that swiped right. They don't know how many women sw swiped left. Or, you know, the chads, the chads out here. They get rejected. You know, maybe less frequently, but they still get rejected. Because first of all, just they, even if you handsome to a consensus of women, you're not con uh, handsome to all women. You know, there's plenty of uh, celebrities who are held up as being handsome, but I've heard women of multiple races are talked to about a, a particular celebrity. They'd be like, mm. Mm. yeah, it's like nothing is nothing is universal. Everybody, yeah, I want to meet. I want to meet the dude. I want seriously. I want to meet the dude and question him. Shoot, even interview him if he can legitimately say every single woman's wanted. He's never been rejected. I shoot, cause there's, there's anybody who even say that, that's straight cap, I'm gonna say that's straight cap. You ain't never be rejected. Like that means you got women literally lined up. Like you got a lineup. Like there's no such thing. Like you ain't been rejected. That means you can get a woman every single day of the year. Every single, cause you got so many lined up. Come on now, come on, you know? But the problem is the thing though, you know, so if the top guy's getting rejected, everybody gonna get rejected. But here's the thing, you can't, first of all, you gotta have a thick skin. Rejection's a part of life. It is. Now even just getting women. You gonna tell me you got every single job you applied for. You gonna tell me if you playing a sport like basketball, you hit every single shot and you ain't get one shot blocked. I remember in a game, this, this dude who was real good, I blocked a shot in a game, he didn't even get mad. He was like, he came up to me, he's like, yo, man, that was a good ass block. <laughs> it was a good block. He, he, he gave me that dap order, because it happens. It was, and let me use basketball again. Just, okay, you get some of the best scores. They, they miss key shots. Do they lose sleep over? No, they just come back and take it. See, you can't, you can't take it personally anyway. Because let's, let's be real with women. I've talked about this before, and I'm going to reiterate today. If a woman rejects you, she just rejects you. That's more in her. It's something about you that she just she wasn't feeling. She don't like it. It's nothing personal. And then you don't know what the situation is. Like, I remember a woman. I, I remember. I'll never forget. I was in a Target. saw this fine woman. And, you know, I ain't big on approaching. I was approaching. But thankfully, I still kept my eye out. All of a sudden, this guy and some kids came around. She was with her family. Because I ain't, I ain't see a ring. Because I, I always look for a ring. So I'll say, oh, let me go holler. And she's sitting there chilling. And just before I got there, the husband and the kids came around. Or oh, baby dad, I don't know. But she was with him. Now, if she rejected me, should I get mad? Like, say he didn't come around. Say he, he wasn't even there. Now, if she rejected me and just say, no, nah, I ain't interested or something like that. Should I take it personally when she got a man? Cause like if you try, you get a lot of guys. You they approach and they think the woman's just going to, you know, fall along. They don't know what her situation is. Cause there's a lot of women. They they either got a boyfriend or even married women who, for whatever reason, don't wear a ring all the time. I got a good friend that works at a local department store. She don't always wear her big ass. Wear. I always joke with her. She got like a use thing. Like she could use her ring to like like light up this video for me. I wouldn't even need the lights I use. <laughs> but she also does some physical labor around there like working on the truck. She don't wear her ring when she's working on the truck. 
You know, so you don't notice it. So if somebody try to holler at her or something, and she don't really wear it when she's working out either. So if somebody try to holler at her, they can't get mad. She's married. You know, you don't know the woman's situation. You know, she might not, you get some guys, they might talk to, you know what, they might talk to a woman of the same race, but the woman don't deal with men of her own race. That's not you. You just happen to be a race she don't want to deal with. Do you take that personally? That's within her. You know, you don't know. I know some, I know a couple, very, couple young ladies and both of them I worked with uh, at different times in retail. It's ironic they got together, they lesbian. They, they're lesbian. So, you know, it's like, do you take it personally if you meet a woman? You, she could be a fine woman. They both are lipstick lesbians too. So if you meet a woman and she rejects you, you don't know what her sexual status is, her orientation. Because most women, when they reject you, they ain't that harsh about it or feel the need to explain to you why they reject you, you know? You could be that handsome guy. You can be that handsome guy. You could be tall. She could reject you because you look better than she do. Because I said it, despite that thing, you only get a small percentage of women who want a man on a relationship level who looks better than them. Yeah, they might take that guy on a quick hit or something if they get a shot. But most of the time, they women ain't always looking for a quick hit. They ain't looking for that quick sex. So they meet some guys. Some, first of all, some guy approach him. Okay, the guy's hand, you know, especially if he's handsome, he's tall. Okay, he's tall. He's tall. Because I ain't never say height. I've never said height didn't matter. Yeah, they take that in consideration. All I've said is there's some guys of short stature who get past it. Okay, so they taking the height thing into consideration. Okay, he's tall, handsome. You know, look like he, he's dressed well. Look like he got some money or something. She could still reject him because he got those things. Because first of all, if a guy like that approach her, she'd be like, why this handsome guy approaching me? Women say that because she knows she average looking. So she and even some very beautiful women don't think that they're attractive. So they questioning that they might reject. They could reject that handsome man because they think he looked better. They could reject that handsome man just to get the feeling of saying, yeah, this fine dude approached me. I, I rejected him. It can be anything. Or she could have such low self-esteem. You know, just like I said, you know, she might feel like, why are you approaching? Or he a dog? You know, you don't know. You don't know. Shoot, she could reject you in a nice way, but deep down, she she's a misandrist. She could just hate men. You know? So that on that level, you can't worry about it. On that level, you don't know what the woman is. And then on another level, you know, it could be like a heterosexual woman and she, you know, she ain't intimidated by your looks or whatever. You know, she just don't want you. It could be the wrong situation. It could be the wrong place. She could have a man at home. You don't know. Or you know what? She might she might reject you. And she just had she just had a close relative pass away. And so she ain't in that mood or she could reject you and she just got out of a bad relationship. And she she's like, she don't wanna deal with any men. You know, she could have found out, uh, you know, a mate was cheating or something. She don't wanna deal with anybody. You don't know the situation. So you can't take it personally. You can't take it personally. Now, you get some guys, they, you know, they get rejected by a woman and say, nah, she thought I was ugly. Did she say you were ugly? Because let's be real out here. Most women, the majority of women, if they reject a guy, they're not going to say anything negative to him. See, I get some guys, they hit me up privately. These women reject, they told me I was ugly. That's probably not the case. A total stranger is not going to tell a guy, because he, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. It's very simple. Women scared of some men out here. They scared if they say something to the wrong guy, he might attack them. And that's happened, because there's always a story every now and then. There was a story up in New York of, uh, you know, the, some, guy, some guy slashing a woman just because she rejected him. So women, they try to keep that shit as peaceful as possible. So when guys say it's an ugly thing, that's within. And even then, even then, just overall, you gotta have a thick skin with it. Because what you're gonna do, see, here's the problem with a lot of guys. They get rejected, then they don't wanna deal with any other women. Like, I knew this guy, he didn't have a thick skin. I mean, he had a thick skin, I'm sorry. I remember, this was back in the day, hanging out, we at a club. He would go up to ask a woman to dance. She'd say no. He'd go to the woman, right, standing right next to her, you wanna dance? Say no. 
Go to the next woman. Say no. I don't even think any women dance with him, but he ain't care. Because the thing is, that's going to happen. And you can't take it, like I said, you can't take it personally for just some of the reasons I mentioned. It, it, it could be a thousand reasons. You don't know what's up with her. Shoot, you might have just, you just might want out on something. But even then, no matter what, because you got to think, okay, what, you want to let that stop you? Are you going to let that rejection stop you? Or is it like, okay, one woman reject you. A woman you don't know or something. Or even if it's a woman you know and she just see you as a friend. Okay. Do you stop? Or do you keep going? Or better yet, the best thing is to figure out why you got rejected as best as possible and change some stuff up. You might need to change because that's feedback right there. But you got to have thick skin because that's the biggest problem with a lot of guys. They let one woman, one relationship mess them up. There are guys out there probably when they were young had a good relationship. It broke up and then ain't getting another one since. And it's like it happens. It happens. People going to hurt each other emotionally. As a man, you want to get to that point. You want to get to that point where you can like deal with that woman where you can get over it. That's part of the thing, you know? That's part of the thing. That's when you get over the bravery. Cause see, I'm gonna tell you what, once you have a thick skin, oh, it's game on. You gonna, you gonna be like that shooter on the basketball court. You gonna keep taking that shot. Or you gonna figure out what you need to do. Like you get rejected, you get rejected and you like sit back. I talk about that in uh, Nice Guys and Players. I got links to the book and the audio books in the uh, description box. That's one of the things. Every single time you get rejected, try to look at it from your angle and figure out, okay, what you do wrong? Because it could have been something. Because you got to think, you can't let that hurt you. And then let's just be real. You do have some women, they want to intentionally hurt a man with a rejection. Why are you letting that affect you? Why are you giving her a victory? Because I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tell you how deep that is. If you have a thick skin, there's been a, like, okay, I'll give you an example. I'll give you a personal example. There was a woman I dealt with back in the day. And i never forget the situation. We're at this club. It was at, uh, for the real old school people from the D.C. area, I met her at Hogate's. It was on the waterfront way, way before, maybe a decade before uh, Zanzibar got on the waterfront. But it was right on the waterfront. And it's funny with Whole Gates, it was like, it was really, it started out just a regular restaurant that happened to have a dance floor. People would just go there to eat, but then people started coming there just to dance, so they gradually changed it over. You know, they, they weren't eating as much, but dancing more. Okay, so we there, I remember I was grooving with this good, you know, woman, you know, pretty attractive, grooving. I mean, it was a nice groove. It was dancing and everything. I asked her to slow dance. And I was like, you know, man, I had his dance. And she was like, no. I was like, okay, have a good day. I walked away. I wasn't impressed. It was a good dance. I wasn't going to be like, oh, crying and all of that. And, you know, she didn't give me that dance. I didn't think about it. I didn't think about it. I just kept having fun out there, right? Fun. She came to me as she was walking out with her friends, gave me her number. That was a long-term uh, friends with benefits situation. <laughs> long-term. <laughs> Look. The thing is, you don't know, because see, sometimes with a woman, if she see you ain't pressed, you, you kind of cool with it, sometimes they give you, sometimes the woman be like, hold up, hold up, hold up, this dude ain't getting upset. Let me see what's up with him. You know, it's that simple. And you got to, you got to have that thought. You got to have that thought. Because what are you going to do? Let's be real. You're a heterosexual man. You still want to have sex, right? And I don't care who you are. Like I said earlier. You can be, you can be supermodel of the world. You can have all that fitness model. You can be an ASP and some woman going to reject you. What does it, you got, you got to think, okay, I ain't going to let this stop me. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to figure out what's going to work. You know, I'm going to figure out, okay. Like I said, I said before about myself, when I was young, shoot, I was crude. I just go full speed ahead. You know, and I would get rejected off of that. I'm just coming too hard, coming off too press. What did I do? I stopped pulling back because I had, I had feedback. Men and women were saying, hey, you need to chill. 
I had feedback. I was thankful to have feedback. I chilled, boom. The rejection started becoming less and less. Because that's why even to this day, I'm not big on approaching. Because I said, hold up, I got to kind of let the game come to me, but that's me. You might have to approach more. Okay, you got to figure out what works. But see, you, got, you, can't let the, you can't let one or even two or even 100 rejections mess with you. You got to keep going. You got to figure out because you know you want the women. Shoot, even when you come into this channel, you get some guys, oh, I want to leave women alone. Why are you coming to this channel? Why are you taking time to increase? You actually put money in my pocket just engaging. If you don't want women, stay off the channel. It's very simple. Block me. Block me. Just block me so you don't even see my stuff in the recommendations, you know? So if you know you want women, you just got to figure out how to make it work, all right? So anyway, that's all I have. But if you're going to if you're gonna be man gets woman, you got to have thick skin. It's going to happen, you know? You know, it could be a issue. Even in a situation where you talking to a woman, you getting to know her, then all of a sudden it's like something went wrong. Shoot, you can get rejected after having sex with a woman and the sex wasn't even that bad. You can get rejected after that. It happens. And really, if you really in the if you really a top man, you're gonna be doing some rejecting. It's it's a part of life. So you gotta have thick skin in the game. All right. So anyway, y'all, that's all I got for now. Get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.